Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, and today I was overdosed on liberal lies, and I'm gonna hit back. One of the uh, liberal trolls decided to blast my YouTube page with the standard left-wing lies that they pound like a drum to cover up and advance their evil agendas. He started by calling George W. Bush and Dick Cheney warmongering psychopaths who lied because they wanted to start a war. He declared that Obama has accomplished much more good than Bush, saying, who killed Osama bin Laden? Who ended the global recession that Bush helped create? Who tried to give people basic rights like free health care? Bush increased wealth inequality. Bush caused countless deaths due to Hurricane Katrina. All right, listen up, you left-wing wacko propaganda viper. I'm going to speak truth to your lies, and I hope your liberal ears bleed. It was Islam who started the war attacking us on 9-11. That's right, I said Islam did it. Islam has declared war on civilization and they will never stop because they are religious fanatics who follow the false god. George Bush took appropriate action to defend American lives and if he hadn't, Europe would have also been hit in much the same manner. Thanks to the Bush war, Islam has been reduced to trying to destroy our nations through immigration instead of airliners and bombs. I'd say that's a good thing. And this tired old lie that Bush lied about WMDs in Iraq? No, he didn't. 14 and a half tons of nerve gas was found, along with the missiles to deliver it. But liberal liars will never tell the truth about that. No, they just cheer the man in the White House who just gave terrorists the green light to make atom bombs. It was the Navy SEALs who killed Osama bin Laden, and Obama didn't help a lick. In fact, Obama has been sabotaging the military's efforts to eradicate terrorists. ISIS is now burning people alive because of Barack Obama's sabotaging the war efforts for his own political agenda. And you have got to be kidding if you think Obama has done anything that benefits the economy. He has piled on more debt than all previous presidents combined. I believe as an attempt to crash the U.S. economy. Basic rights like health care? Listen up, pal. There is no such thing as free. Somebody has to pay, and what Obama has done is caused millions of people to become panhandling bums waiting for someone to take care of them. What do you think that does to a nation's economy? It is free market medicine that has given the world the greatest advancements in medical care, and unless we get government out of the health care biz, out of the welfare biz, and out of the marriage issue, the USA is headed for a major wreck. And how dare you and your despicable friends continue to blame George W. Bush for the Katrina disaster. Seven times the Republicans gave New Orleans money to fix those worn out dikes. And seven times the Democrats used that money for other things. And then when the dikes gave way during the hurricane, the liberal Democrats were so incompetent they couldn't even run an evacuation of the city. And that is why people died. If George W. Bush had violated the authority of the liberal mayor and governor and came swooping in to save people, you'd be howling about that he was a racist for trampling on the authority of the black leaders of New Orleans. As an American citizen, I am sick and tired of the vicious lies that spew from the left like a broken sewer pipe. You and your propaganda are the sewage of America. It's no wonder the liberal left are at war with the Christian faith. God commands us not to lie. And if liberals couldn't lie, they couldn't speak. And they would never, ever be allowed into positions of authority. And that's why my mission in life is to call America back to the God and country values that founded this nation. Because the values of the liberal left are the values of evil. And they will destroy faith and freedom unless we the people take firm action to stop them. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching. And America, bless God again.